Because this is representing all the bobbies in the corner shops and stuff. Uh, NQT Amy Mays has asked a Year 10 media class to pitch their own Hollywood disaster movie. But some boys do not take the lesson seriously. Could Amy have handled things better? Bobby. Right, boys. Boys, how's that coming along? I showed uh, that this is Bobby Patel production. We're representing all the Bobbies in the corner shops. Yeah, it's a. That's what I'm moving. Do you about. think that's a mature response? No, it's an actual uh, movie. You're making, a, you're making a film about Bobby. It's a guy at our corner shop. His name Someone's Bobby blowing up corner shops. They are, they're doing the task and they're thinking about it, but I suppose they're not... I've kind of got this idea in my mind of what I want them to achieve. Because obviously it's within a genre of film, the disaster genre, they have to fit within that. And they're going off on a bit of a tangent and I get the impression they're not quite taking it seriously enough. Does it fit within the disaster genre? Not what they came up with, no. It was just kind of one corner shop man and his shop blows up which is more like an action adventure. Do you think, because at the moment, from the bank of Miss Mays is going to give you absolutely comedy, no money? Comedy slash disaster. No. Oh, just disaster. Comedy and disaster works. Yeah. yeah. The, these, are, these aren't sort of bad boys, no. are they? The, 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 these, are, these are mucking about teenagers and they've got the giggles about them. Do you know what the Bobby's joke yeah. is? Bobby, Bobby. They, they feel that the corner shop is oppressed within our society or something like that and they want to um, kind of give them more status and they want to make them the focus of their film. But, I mean, do you think that would be a Hollywood blockbuster? Because I don't. Doesn't, I, I, I don't think I'd pay to go and see it. <laughs> yeah, miss, because who's going to supply us with our daily milk and who's going to supply us with, you know, all Chris those necessities, isn't it? Yeah, like, but why is it if you don't have the milk? Like, uh, Not everyone uses like, the okay. milk. I want you to seriously think about your idea. You have got some good ideas in there when you think about, you know, it's going to affect lots of people and there might be lots of different characters. But I think we need to expand on the corner shop. If you were able to run that script again, what would you say? I would say... I'd say, OK, I... I understand what you're doing, okay? There's obviously a, a narrative throughout your film that you're creating, but look through your books and refer to your notes. What is the definition of a disaster film? I'm 14 and I think this is a real riot. Mm. And then someone says, just look back through your notes. Mm. And I say, yeah, miss. But am I going to? No. And, and I, know we're using, I, I know we're using hindsight here, but... Um, but the teenage boy wants structure, doesn't it? And yeah. when, they're, when they're sort of saying Bobby's Bobby's and having a giggling fit, one way of reading it is they're saying, we're going to go on goofing about unless you give mm. us some pretty clear guidelines. Let's look together. What are the definitions you can tell me? Does your film have multiple plot lines? Because we need to see how that disaster is going to affect different people. OK, what else, Miss? OK, so we've got... Remember our characters, OK? So Bobby's going to be our hero. Would you say Bobby's going to have a hero? Yeah, yeah, Bobby's Miss. OK, can you remember the different types of characters that we have? OK, so we've got a hero. OK, yeah. and we've got a damsel in distress. So that's the two things I want you to do. I'm going to give you five minutes. The first thing I want you to do is come up with at least two other stories. And the second thing is I want you to come up with some more characters. That's more like it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, do you feel comfortable with that? Yeah, definitely. And it's, it's also kind of remaining positive, isn't it? If you're positive yeah. with them and you say to them, instead of saying, right, OK, I expect you're going to misbehave, but I don't want it, you say, you turn it the other way around and say, I know you can behave, so yeah. let me see it. Yeah, then you've, you've sent the teenage boy away with a mission. This is Black Stars and... Later in the lesson, during the pitches, the same group of boys are again disrupted. It also don't... OK, like the words in Chelsea, I'm going to allow... Eighteen thousand. Well, we got like oh, twenty-five. Give me a good pitch. Hold on. Where are the beds? All he said was, "Oh, he said it was." He got the phone. Name? Yes. Go outside. Done all full action. Right, year ten. <laughs> Why did he get sent outside? He said a rude comment about one of one of the groups that have just been up. OK, so so out he goes. And then... Sorry. It was very rude, OK? For some people to come up here, it's very, very difficult. Yeah, I know. I'm sure you wouldn't like it if anyone else was mocking your work. 
No. No. Okay, uh, it's actually quite embarrassing for someone in year 10 to behave the way that you did. Yes, Miss. <laughs> What's he okay, supposed to say? Okay, so what's the maturity from you? If that happens again, just... He just wants, wants to get out of there. Mm. He's not thinking mm. Mm. about mm. it. Okay, but he's not going to burst into tears and say, listen, I've just listened to what you've had mm. to say and I feel awful, I'm going to change my ways. That's not going to happen, is it? So I think um, about 15 or 20 seconds of that was really, uh, yeah, the effect of that was really upsetting. It made it difficult for me to teach. It stopped other people learning and it was a very unpleasant remark. And I think the minute we've, we've got that off our chest, I think we then need to start on, tell me what I want out of you in the future. Okay. Because otherwise what we're doing is the kind of telling off charade, you're going whap, whap, whap. And I'm going, yeah, miss, I know, I'm terrible, I'm awful, I'm terrible. And nobody's learning anything. I think it just needs tightening up a bit. He just uh, needs to kind of be left with that positivity at the end so that he can go away and think, OK, I know I did wrong, but this is how we can move forward. <laughs>